hey guys so today i'm going to be doing a pregnancy update video and uh for those that, of you that don't know i am pregnant and you probably already saw the title of this video and know anyways but if you have not seen my previous video it's um a video of uh us taking a pregnancy test and our reactions to the pregnancy test and it's really fun um to have been able to get that footage um we found out that we were pregnant in march on march 6th and which it has been a while uh since we found out i'm already in my second trimester um actually on uh, let's see on saturday well it depends some people say that the second trimester starts in 13 weeks some people say that it starts in 14 weeks um i'm not sure so um some people think i'm in second trimester and some don't i don't know depending what you think but um yeah uh i'm already 13 weeks which is awesome uh i just hadn't put it up on youtube that i'm pregnant and all that just because all of our family members didn't know we actually told all our family members on mother's day so after they found out then um i was able to go ahead and uh, upload the footage that i had from when we found out we were pregnant so yeah so i'm i haven't been doing uh the weekly uh pregnancy updates i've just uh, been very tired from being pregnant so this is my first one so i'm just gonna kind of give you a recap of uh how my first trimester was let me just start by saying that this pregnancy is completely different than my first pregnancy and um since i am a twin mom the popular question is of course if it's twins that is the question that every single person in my family friendships asks. that's the first question is it twins um and so let's go ahead and answer it uh it's actually not twins it is just one baby and here is the ultrasound so you can see there's just one little peanut in there just one baby so uh that was honestly that was our biggest concern that me and my husband had we actually just wanted one more baby we did not want to so we were very relieved and, and excited with the fact that it's just one baby so uh that there you go that's the biggest question answered it's just one baby and um to recap the first trimester i'll just go ahead and say that it's been way different than my first pregnancy like i said but of course i'm comparing it to a twin pregnancy with the boys during the twin pregnancy i was very 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 sick i was nauseous vomiting uh, a lot of vomiting a lot of uh, nausea and it was just not fun um with them i remember i was working full time and i was living in the bathroom in that um single bathroom that we had apart from everybody else throwing up in there so this pregnancy i i am nauseous and i have been vomiting i do have it unfortunately i thought that i wasn't but it's way less than i had it with the twins so i do have nausea and i have vomited uh but it's not every single day it's like maybe one week i throw up two three times and then the next week nothing and then two weeks pass and uh nothing no no throwing up no nausea and then a week the next week i'll be sick so it isn't that bad it isn't every day all week every week so um that's bear that's way more bearable and another big difference that i've seen in this pregnancy is that apparently this baby does not like food because i um don't crave much and then i will be very hungry and i will want to eat something so i'll go ahead and like prepare food for me and when i finally sit down and go to eat my food I just don't want to eat it it just doesn't look good i don't have any appetite i just it makes me nauseous even to see the food and so that is not fun nothing sounds good i don't want anything i just don't crave anything don't want anything 
so that isn't fun you know um i can't decide for the life of me what to eat i will just stand in the fridge or in the kitchen you know thinking about what do i eat for like 30 40 minutes and i just don't want anything so i just have to basically force myself to eat because of course i know that i have to eat and and i do eat but it's not because food tastes good or because i want it so that's the fun of that and then another big symptom is that i'm really really sleepy i'm tired i'm exhausted all day i just want to nap all day and even if i do nap a nap does not help when i wake up from the nap i'm still exhausted i just have zero energy and well this time around i have two toddlers you know twin boys that don't allow me to nap that don't allow me downtime so they require so much energy and unfortunately i can't be napping or anything like that so that makes this harder and then what else um i think that that is all the symptoms that i've been having i mean other than that everything's really good um i don't have any major you know other things i did go through the beginning of my pregnancy i had migraines for the first like two weeks but that's probably because i drink a lot of coffee and i had to just a uh, cold turkey quit drinking coffee because i know it's not the best choice for the babies which i know that you can uh still drink coffee but i just chose not to i chose not to drink anything any at all and when i did uh stop drinking coffee i did get migraines for about a week or two so that wasn't fun but i know that that's more um being addicted to coffee symptom than baby symptom um yeah so i think that that's all that i really have i mean this is a really short a short um you know pregnancy update uh i do uh i have had a, a ultrasound i actually had two ultrasounds the first one i had was really early on and they could not see the baby um because i was too early so i just ended up having to go back two weeks late later and they did were able to find the baby then and uh my due date by the way is november 12th so i'm due november 12th uh, of this year of course and um so yeah that's exciting there's nobody in my family that's uh that has a birthday in november so that's uh new and interesting and um yeah um i've had other appointments but no other ultrasounds other than that which is really different from being pregnant with twins and um which are considered high risk in itself so i had so many ultrasounds with the boys and this time around i'm just like i want to see my baby why i haven't i had an ultrasound but um when it's just one baby a singleton it's very normal you just normally get about three ultrasounds um normally i mean there's probably places where you get more but um i do have another ultrasound and that is until uh, mid-june and that will be to find uh the sex of the baby the anatomy scan make sure everything's okay with baby so um i have five weeks until that and i'm trying to be patient so yeah that is all that i have for you guys uh, i'm really excited i'm gonna be doing um pregnancy update videos i might not do weekly just because honestly there's not enough going on every week for me to do a video on it but it might be you know every two weeks or every three weeks depending on what's going on you know um so yeah that's all that i have for you guys and i'm really excited for uh this new video and this new journey with a new baby uh, make sure um uh, that you give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you are not subscribed subscribe so you can go ahead and see all the videos that i will be posting i will be posting other videos other than pregnancy uh videos because i know that they can get <laughs> boring to people that are not interested in pregnancy videos um did want to say before i close i'm sorry i am working on uploading my uh california vacay videos i'm editing i did uh shoot a lot of footage while i was there we had so much fun we have a lot of good footage but with being pregnant and all that i've just been so exhausted i had computer problems 
I, have, I had problems with my Final Cut Pro. I could not edit anything, upload anything for about three weeks. So finally got that resolved. And um, so yeah, so I'm ready to get back into the groove of things. And yeah, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.